So in this video, I'm going to give you 10 ways to use coconut oil that will change your life, save you money, and you'll just thank me for, really. <laughs> my channel I'm Katie welcome if you're new thank you so much for being here and if you are a returning subscriber you're the best um, if you are new then I'd love to join the family click the subscribe button I upload three videos a week um, a vary of fashion positivity some weekly vlogs um, just really exciting lovely things just give some more positivity into your life and make you feel your best you so today's video is gonna be all about Coconut oil. Oh yeah. So this stuff, honestly, I think this was like how long ago did this come out? Not like not forever ago. It's, it's not been around forever, but basically, this stuff is life changing. You can use it. I, I find it harder to think of things I can't use it for than I can. So I'd love to hear your favourite down below as well. If you have any extra tips that I haven't shared, please let me know down in the comment section. So I have a list of my favourite ways to use it. Number one is you can use it as a makeup remover. Now I didn't believe this, like when I first heard this, I was like, no, it can't be true. But as a cleanser, so all you need to do is get a lump in your hand, like maybe 50 p piece, rub it together so that coconut oil melts, because it comes and it's quite hard and thin. Um, it will go into completely oil base when you've heated it with your hands, and rub it in your face just as you would um, to take off your normal makeup, maybe if you're washing your face, on your eyebrows, you can even use it on the eyelashes, take the scar off, everything. This completely works, like I was gobsmacked, I did it the other night and I literally was like, Reese, Reese, you have no idea how much this has changed my life. This is just amazing, I don't have any chemicals in my face. This is just completely pure and natural and it takes it off my makeup. And then I used some cotton wool pads to just remove, obviously, the excess and wipe it off and I just toned and moisturised as normal before bed and voila, it was literally done. I was chuffed. Um, so the second great use for coconut oil is as a moisturiser. So if you don't want to be spending loads of money on moisturisers, which half the time personally I feel like so many of them have got alcohol in, they actually dehydrate the skin. Alcohol is really dehydrating for the skin. So it boggles my mind why they put it in. Um, so something like this, completely pure and natural, just one ingredient, you can use this as a moisturiser, it is amazing. Literally, again, you just pick however much you need, rub it onto the skin, literally moisturise like the room. It's so nice, it leaves like a really nice glow on the skin as well, just makes you feel really just like healthy, it makes you feel like really healthy and hydrated. Um, so I love that. So the third and probably the most common use for coconut oil is in cooking. So obviously you just replace like your olive oil or whatever oil you currently use with coconut oil. It's got so many health benefits, it's got so many, so like literally review after review of how good this is for you. Apparently it can help break down fat within the body, it can help um, with your metabolism, loads of things. So this honestly is a great addition to your life, in your cooking life, even if you don't listen to any other tips. I love coconut oil and I use it probably for nearly everything I cook. The only other oil I use is sesame oil and occasionally olive oil. The fourth tip I have for how to use coconut oil is as a lubricant. So I'm not gonna deny, we all obviously know that we all have sex. All right, people don't talk about it very often, but it is, we all do it, we all wouldn't be here otherwise. So obviously you know you can buy lubricants that normally have a lot of chemicals in. These can be really damaging for the body um, obviously we're using them in intimate areas that can be really easily irritated by these products. So something like coconut oil, again, completely pure, natural, completely safe to use in those areas, is so great. It's also antiseptic. So if you ever have any issues with um, like bacterial things or, you know, we all now and then have little problems going on. So this is really great for that as well. The fifth use for coconut oil is as a cuticle oil. So as a beauty therapist for God, I don't know how many years, um, this is probably one of the best things I've ever found for cuticles and look at the size of it. It costs about three pounds to get a tub this size um, in the UK. So, I mean, you couldn't get a cuticle oil that size 
for that price and you literally need the tiniest little bit um, and literally just rub it into the cuticles and it just rehydrates the nails amazingly like I normally do this after I cook so if I put a spoon of it into the saucepan I use the excess on the spoon and I rub it into my cuticles maybe every time I cook and I really find it helps to keep them nourished especially at the moment whilst we're using so much hand wash um, during this worldwide epidemic that's going on and we are super, keeping super super clean um, and anti-backing everything and all the chemicals we're probably using at the minute to try and kill the germs this is a great way to add that nourishment back into your nails, into your hands um, as well as like even a hand cream so by all means we'll use it as that too so the sixth use for coconut oil is in baking so I don't know how many of you bake but I love baking and I've always loved cakes like it's always been such an enjoyment of mine to eat cakes and anything sweet basically but also as a woman and I used to do beauty pageants, I used to do modelling and obviously I think as, as women in general we're always just a little bit cautious of our, ba our bodies and our weight and I think that is understandable but it's also conditioning of how we've been brought up but that's another story for another day but I as a younger, okay I'm not that old now but like <laughs> younger Katie was so worried about calories and um, getting fat but I also really enjoyed cakes, really enjoyed all these things as well so I started to look into like what was in the things I was eating and I realised how bad lots of processed things are for you, lots of processed cakes, like cake, cakes you buy from the shop when you actually look at the ingredients in them they're not good for you at all. I know they do taste really good and one once in a while is absolutely fine but baking things yourself um, and finding ways to alternate, alter, alter, oh I can't speak. Finding really healthy alternatives for baking was a passion of mine for ages. Actually it's what made me start my blog um, was sharing healthy recipes of things that I loved and things that tasted really great but had really good ingredients in. So coconut oil was one of those ingredients great substitute for loads of different things in baking so if you ever need like recipe inspo then deliciously ella is really good for natural home baking like no refined sugars no um like bad fats things like that um all natural ingredients basically that are good for the body and all right they're still going to be high calorie but they are more beneficial to your body, they have more nutrients in um, and your body will thank you for them more in the long term. So coconut oil, great for baking. Um, the seventh tip for how to use coconut oil is as an SPF, so it's a very very low SPF, I just want to say this. Um, it's SPF 7 but it does apparently cover 20% of UV rays, so this is better than nothing. So if you're perhaps going out for the day, it doesn't look that sunny, but you put it on as a moisturiser, at least it's going to be covering some of your skin, it's going to be protecting you a little bit. If you're not going to be out in the sun for too long, you don't want to cover yourself in sun cream, but you want to nourish the body, perfect, use it as like a body cream, um, and it's got SPF in, so really, really great, really obviously very versatile. Number eight is for a mouthwash, what I call it mouthwash, what I mean really is um, oil pulling, so whitening the teeth and getting lots of um, bacteria and all the bad stuff out of your teeth. It's really, really great for whitening the teeth. So you'd use about a teaspoon to start, put it in the mouth. It feels really <laughs> not great, I'm not gonna lie. I also makes me gag a bit, but I'm not very really good with stuff like this. But if you're all right with putting things in your mouth, then you'll be fine. Um, and then just like literally swash and swirl it around your mouth for about 10 minutes if you can. Maybe just start at lower and then build your way up. But it's a really, really great way to naturally whiten the teeth and pull any toxins and bad bacteria out of the mouth. Um, and they feel so clean and so good afterwards. It's also a great way to tell you can make your own toothpaste with this as well. That's just, again, another video for another day. If you want to see that video, leave, leave me a comment down below. So tip number nine is it's great for eczema, really dry skin, um, any skin irritation, um, also any cuts because it's antibacterial. So you can put it on, like actually at the minute I've got a burn on my arm and I'm gonna, I only, it only happened yesterday. I have put coconut oil on it once, but I'm gonna put coconut oil on it as much as I can because it's really, really healing for cuts. Like anything, basically skin irritations, it's perfect for because it's got no nasties in, no chemicals in, no alcohol in. It's literally the purest thing you can probably put on your skin. 
um, to help heal it and it really does help heal it. It's just a miracle product. <laughs> I kids you can't tell. I love it. Um, so then the last, the tenth thing um, that you can use coconut oil for is for your hair. So to help nourish dry spits ends. You can use it as a hair mask. So either um, in the night you can sleep with it on. You can use as much as you want. Obviously the more the better. Really just cover the hair in it and make sure you wash it out really thoroughly the next day so we don't want to walk around greasy but it's really really hydrating and nourishing for the hair um, especially someone who has naturally very curly hair my hair's typically quite dry years of sort of bleaching and straightening and blow drying my hair has definitely not been kind to it so something like this is really great for just nourishing and putting that um, goodness back into the hair it also gives it a really like good shine the next day makes it look really healthy um, so yeah, that is literally 10 easy tips, 10 easy ways how to use coconut oil. So um, I hope you will try some of them out. If you have any other tips for me, please, like I said, leave them down below. I would love to hear. And if you try any of them, I would love to hear as well. Let me know. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to go for the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. I upload three videos a week, so I'd love to see you here again on my channel soon. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day. Bye.